Okay, darning a point shoe. You've got your point shoe, your elastics or ribbons are on, um, and now you need to darn them. Um, so you need to grab a pencil and you kind of look at where the shoe is on the floor. So it's usually by these, this outside. So you're just going to take a very light pencil line up by those two marks and take it round to follow the lines of those. Then you're going to look at where the point shoe actually sits on the on the ground and just take a, a line just nice and faint across the top so now you've got kind of a very faint pencil line that's where you're going to sew then you need your needle and thread um, I use darning thread that I get from the shop when I buy my point shoes um, and I use a straight needle with quite a big eye you can use these curved needles but I don't get on with them so I use a straight needle and I double up my thread so that it's too thickness then what you're going to do is actually take your point shoe upside down so the sole is facing the ceiling and uh, I'm left handed so you just reverse this if you're right handed um, and you're going to take it across your point shoe um, and you're kind of looking to follow that line so where you've drawn your line you take it underneath the satin pull it through just make sure it's all nice and straight and take it across to as much as possible the equivalent on the other side um, so I'm left handed I started on the left and went across to the right so if you're right handed you would start on the right and go across to the left because you're going to work back towards your the hand that you're using um, and you don't want to pull it tight across you want to make sure that it's nice and loose so that it still makes that shape round the uh, the shape of the point shoe, the end um, and then you're just doing this very even stitch you go under the satin under the thread loop this over pull your needle through and it will make a loop under the satin under the thread, pull it through and it makes a loop and you just continue this along your line so you're going along, you're putting your needle in along your pencil line um, and then pulling to get your loop. Don't worry too much about the knot or the extra thread that you've started with. These can all be cut off and um, hidden or neatened up um, so that it all fits in nice and smoothly. And you want to make it nice and small so that it uh, covers as much of the shoe as possible. And don't worry too much about it being absolutely perfect. If you go slightly above the line or slightly below the line, that is absolutely fine. Um, once you've worn the shoes a couple of times, this will all be squished together. And uh, it just creates a, another barrier between the floor and your silk shoes your satin shoes just stops you from slipping keeps all the grubbiness off of them um, so it does not need to be perfect I cannot stress this enough so you've got to the end of your line 
and I'm going to take this out you can then cut off this extra string so that, that knot is just there um, you take your extra stitch right along that pencil line that you made pull it nice and tight then you go across the point shoe Ooh. then you go across the point shoe the same as you did at the beginning and you start again um, you do one stitch where it's just the satin, the thread and your loop and then after that you loop it underneath the loop that you've already made underneath your satin, underneath your thread and that's how you kind of link them all together and it just pulls it up to that to make your new stitch Don't worry about your line not being exactly the same. You'll be able to even it out as you go along. Um, and like I said, it does not need to be perfect. Once it's all squished together, you won't be able to see where you had slightly wonky lines. So I'd say that's probably my last my last stitch and you take it under the satin and push it through cut it off you've re-threaded your needle you're going to take it where you did your last stitch so you take it through that loop again and pull it through and then carry on as you were. So through the next loop, under the satin, under the thread, and through. And you just carry on until you get to the end of the point sheet.
So this is probably about as close as you're going to get. So on your last, last one, last line, you want to try and get as close to that sole of the foot. Uh, so that it really pulls as close as possible. And then when you get right to the end end and you do your last loop, take it through the satin as if you were going to do another line. But then I push it through one of these tubes. So you're just getting kind of in the middle. It doesn't have to go all the way along, just so that it's kind of tucked in, ready to be squished into place. And then cut it off. And that is your finished point shoe. All of those lumps and bumps can either be cut off or they will be squished down once they're danced on.